All right, some of you may care, some of you may not care, but I've been getting some hate about my yard. So I'm gonna just show you what I do before I shoot every video back here. I do my best, I really do. Watch. I'm composting. I'm trying to do my part for the environment. Look, I know, I know, I know. I'm not the best like landscape gardener dude. I know I planted grass over here. It's sort of coming in and sort of not. It's my bent grass, it's not doing so well. And I do this before every shoot. I really care, I really care what you think. It might not show, but I do, honest. Let's mow the lawn. my grass clippings to reinvigorate the lawn. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to reuse everything. If you have any suggestions of how I could get this looking really super good without spending an arm and a leg, comment below. Let me know, I'd really appreciate it. All right, that's enough goofing around. Let's get to today's video. All right, I've got it looking as good as we're gonna probably get for a while. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, uh, I'm here to help your game get better. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider doing that now. Really appreciate it. And right now we're gonna do a cool short game drill that's gonna help develop your feel, get your game in much better shape and crisp and sharp so you can get a lot more birdies. And save those pars too. Don't forget about the pars. You need them. Let's do it. Get yourself a couple of baskets. Find some baskets. Or little cans. You could use a can or a little bucket or something. Whatever. Two things you need today. Just a couple of bricks. Some weight to hold it down. Okay, so you could do this uh, at the range. You could do this in the short game area or you could do it at home or wherever you like to practice. I call it a little high-low drill. Okay, high-low. So. On the left bucket, on the left bucket or basket, you're gonna hit high shots, high as you can get them. And on the right, we're gonna hit lower ones. So high and low. You get the idea, right? I like doing this off the mat because it's really difficult to hit a high shot off the mat. If you could do it, you're really gonna develop that touch and feel you need with your hands. I am five yards away. So 15 feet, just paste it out, okay? That's the distance I like because it, uh, it's very difficult. It's easy to hit a 20, 30 yarder shot, believe it or not. Much easier to hit a high 30 yarder than a five yarder. But I wanna develop my feel, and this is gonna help me. Okay, so on the, on the high one, feet close together, I open up my stance. So I'm aiming, I'm aiming about 10 feet left Way over here. Ball is still center. I keep the ball center of my body. I just open the face now. So the face, the face is pointing at the target or even right at the target. Really loose, loose as I can be. And I'm just gonna set the hands and just let the hands release. Real soft wrist, soft knees, everything's soft. And I want a little, little bend in my knee going through here. That's a high one. I mean, it's not gonna go that high. We're only five yards away. Always follow through on that high one. Always follow through. It's almost, almost a full follow through. The short follow through is gonna hit it low. <clears throat> 
just back out here. I'm kind of swinging over here where I'm aiming. I'm not taking it outside of my swing of my aim. Like I'm set up over here. So I'm never taking the club outside. It's outside of that, but it's not outside of where I'm aiming. That's what I'm trying to say. We're just trying to get it in the bucket as best we can. Let's, uh, let's work on some technique for the low shot. So normally the low one would be a lot easier, but since you're gonna go back and forth from shot to shot, it, it makes it more challenging. That's why we do it. Uh, we go one and one, but here's how you, you wanna set up for the lower shot. I'm gonna set up square, I'm, so I'm gonna aim I'm going to aim right at it. On, the, on this one, I was aimed way left. But on this one, I'm just aimed square. I can set up center of my stance. Club face square, not open now. And I'm just going to lead. I'm going to lead a little bit more with a forward pressing handle. Right here. I might even set up a little more forward like this. That's fine. But I'm not going to back the ball up. You can back it up if you want. You don't have to. We just want to get it a lot lower than the other one. And my weight is slightly on my front foot. But you don't have to do that either. You could just be 50-50 if you prefer. And notice my follow through. It's just right to here. On the high one, I'm out here. On the low one, I'm right in here. Almost. So then we just want to hit back and forth, back and forth, high, low, high, low, high. You get the idea. Check it out. There you go. It's just a great way to develop feel very quickly. Shorter shots develop feel faster and learning two shots that are very different at the same time also increases the rate at which you develop your feel. And when you have a great feel, you have a great short game, you save more pars, you make more birdies, you have more fun. Your scores get lower. It's a great way to do it. So it's just a great high-low drill to work on your short game and it will really help. You'll see a great difference uh, in your feel doing this drill. All right, I'm using my Vokey SM7 60 degree wedge. This one has, uh, it's 12 degrees of bounce, which is a lot hitting off a mat, but that's okay because it makes a shot even harder. So we want to increase difficulty. That way we can uh, speed up our learning. Believe it or not, it makes it harder. Uh, it's easier to hit it lower, harder to hit it higher off a mat. But anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope it helps your game work hard. Good luck out there. Let me know how it's working, how you're doing. Please subscribe, like, share if you haven't done so already. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video. All right, it's been super hot where I live. Hope you liked the video. Now it's time to cool down.